I just feel while I'm out on my drive I need to tell some of you a little bit about myself give me a chance give me five five minutes of your of your precious day and I'll tell you a little bit about my life and when you see me talking about God and all the things that have happened in my life and how great he's been to me some of you think I'm mentally ill I have mental problems he believes he believes in a fictional character something nobody has ever seen well that's my choice you have your choices and what you want to believe in yes I came from a relatively privileged background I grew up in Lagos Nigeria but I, like every single one of members of my family, we left home at 16. Once you turn 16, that was it. You're gone. Uh, you leave home, you're out into the big wild world and you go and sort your own life out. You go to further education and that's pretty much it. Once you get your first job, not a penny is being sent to you. And me personally, might be a bit of an ego problem but no matter how many issues I've ever had growing up, I've never ever, my ego will never ever let me ring home and ask for help. I've never once had any financial help from anyone, from my family in my life. And I'm the last child in my family. And in fact, let me tell you something, I'm the last child in my family. When people have issues, they tend to come to me to solve the problems. When other family members have had, had issues, they've come to me. So I've always been that person who doesn't doesn't let doesn't like to go and ask doesn't like to ask for help i like to see i do things by myself and today little old leslie has business operations international business operations working around the world investments around the world but people see me and just think oh les is just fitness 2000 yeah yeah because that's all they see me, that's how they see me dressed. I'm not just Fitness 2000. I'm several other businesses and several other, other investments internationally. Yes, my passion, my time, I like to spend my time being fit. I'm a former professional fighter. I love to spend my time training. But if you look at my life, my life has been nothing but blessings put, put upon me by God. Has to be, has to be. I pray, I believe, and I receive. 2020, probably the worst year most people have had. Because of my belief, my belief in God and my belief in myself and my belief that I'm, I've got the backing of a higher power, 2020 has probably turned out to be the best year of my life to date. So much has gone on. We've all seen a lot happen. A lot has been lost, but a lot has been gained. How I've got to where I am today. Yes, it's nothing but hard work and dedication. And showing people that you're, you're a person of, of quality, a person of integrity. Integrity is the biggest thing when it comes to life. Some of the meetings I've been to, some of the job opportunities, some of the contract opportunities I've been given investment opportunities have been given over the period over these years I've not always been the most qualified in fact I've never been the most qualified there have been more qualified people people who have got greater experience than I ever have who should have got the jobs got the investments got given the, the, the contracts but no I walk into those meetings with full intention and show my integrity in my shorts, my flip-flops, and my t-shirt. And we have people there in suits and ties, briefcases, laptops. But no, the work comes my way because I show my integrity. What you see with me is what you get. I'm not trying to be fancy. I'm not trying to show off to anybody. When you meet me, you meet me. It doesn't matter. Either if I'm in the UK, I'm in my Fitness 2000 hoodie, fitness 2000 tracksuit bottom and jacket if you meet me in nigeria you meet me in shorts flip-flops and a black t-shirt anywhere else in the world any hot climate you'll meet me in shorts flip-flops and a black t-shirt i'm not trying to impress anybody 
I've never owned jewelry in my life. Everything I do, I do for me. And everything I do to increase myself, I do to increase myself so I can help increase others. And one thing I believe wholeheartedly is when you're going up the ladder, remember you have to take those around you up with you. Give them the opportunity to climb up the ladder with you as well. And that's one thing I highly believe in. Integrity and bringing those around you up with you. God has played a major factor in my life, a major factor in the things I've achieved. And it's something that can help in your life and help you achieve. Am I happy in my life? I'm extremely happy in my life. I travel when I want. I do what I want, when I want. I help others. I've put people through school. I've put people through university. I do best that I can. And yes, I want more, but I don't just want more. For me, if you look at my lifestyle, you'll see and know that I don't just want more for me. I want more for me so I can help others. And the more I have, the more I can help others. There's a lot of people out there who like to hoard, hoard what they have. I don't hoard what I have. When I have, I give. And I, that's why I think the things that have been bestowed onto me by God is because he knows I'm a giver. When I receive, I give. And I believe I receive because I give. I don't go out of my way to give so I receive. Understand that. However, I do receive because I give and I believe that wholeheartedly. There's a God. There's a creator of this universe. There's a higher power. Whatever you like to think it is, it's God. It's the creator of this universe. I've seen life. I've seen real life. Remember, I grew up in Lagos, Nigeria. A third world country. Yes, from privileged background, fair enough. I hold my hands up. But I experienced best of both. In my family, you grew up and you were allowed to see best of both. From your privileged background, your privileged home, your privileged school. But I was allowed out to play with some of the poorest people in the world. And that's one thing my mother instilled in me. She always let us out. We had friends from all classes, from billionaire families to the poorest of the poor living in shacks. And we played with these people. And it's something my mom instilled into me. And I think that's what, what's made me who I am today. The fact that I don't think I'm better than anybody, but best of all, I don't think anybody's better than me. I give as much respect to anyone who gives respect to me. And I always initiate the respect. So, that's why when I rock up to your, to a meeting with you, you see me wearing shorts and flip-flops around the world. It's because I know what I have to offer. There's a greatness in me and it's a greatness in you. You just have to believe it. Yes, I speak about God. God is the creator. He's the one who's developed my life. I come from the same background as many others, but I've achieved a lot more than many out there. And I can guarantee you that. The happiness I have in my life, what I fulfilled internationally, I'm not just a local businessman, I'm an international businessman. I work everywhere on different continents. Things have come to me because yes, I've had the drive to get out there and work for it and take opportunities and take risks. Opportunities that other people might have turned down because they might have looked risky. I'm always the one willing to travel and go and take on these opportunities. There's a greatness in us all. We weren't born to just live on this earth, make no impact and go. We were born on this earth to make an impact for people to remember us, to remember us for the good we've done. And I believe before I'm gone, people will remember me for the good I've done. I'm not trying to impress anyone. I'm not trying to, all I'm trying to impress upon you is that there is a God, there is a higher power. And when you look at life and look at your life, you want to have more for yourself. Don't be content where you are. 
don't stay where you are. Staying where you are is being greedy. It's being greedy and selfish. Because if you only have enough to provide for yourself, what are you doing for others? You can't do anything for others. I want so much that I can provide for myself, my family and multiple others around me. If you come within my, my structure, within my timeline, within my circle, you will be blessed in one way or another. Ask anybody who's spent any level of time with me if I've not put opportunities their way, but you might not take the opportunities. You can lead a horse to water, but you can never force that horse to drink the water. God has been great in me, in my life, in my family's life, and there's even greater to come my way. I live a great life. I love my life. I'm very, very happy with my life, but I'm not content yet. The reason I'm not content yet is I see what I can do for others. Especially when I travel around the world and I travel to third world countries, I see what I can do. I know there's things I can do. I want to build schools for underprivileged children, give free education in Nigeria. That's what I want to do. Provide housing for the underprivileged, free housing, why not? Watch and see what I do. Just watch and see over these next few years. The power that's been bestowed into me by the by the Lord God. And you'll look and say, how has he done that? <laughs> Somebody must have helped him along the way. Nobody's helped me along the way. Everything I've achieved, I've achieved on my own. In fact, I've helped others achieve greatness as well. And there's more to come. And the things I say, I don't say to impress you but I say to impress upon you the things that God has done in my life. I, that's what I say them for. Not because I'm trying to impress you that I've, I'm great at business. In fact, I'm not the smartest person you'll ever meet. I'm not the sharpest tool in the box. But for some reason, opportunities always come my way. People always send opportunities my way. And there's a saying where I come from in Lagos, in Nigeria. If something someone else has achieved, no matter how great it is, that person hasn't got two heads, has he? He's only got one head. So if he can achieve it, why can't you? The billionaires of this world, the trillionaires in hiding, and the trillionaires in making, if they've achieved greatness, why can't you? We're all born into this earth of the same ilk, we all come in naked. But if one person can achieve something great, that opportunity is also there for you. You just have to believe it. That's all it takes. You just have to believe it. Visualize it. Pray about it. But you also have to have action. Action has to be taken. Yes, I say a lot has happened to me. A lot of great things have happened for me, have happened in my life, which could appear, if I tell you some of the things, would appear miraculous. But they're not necessarily always miraculous. Yes, God plays a big part. But it's my drive and motivation and my belief that I'm protected. That I've got a God looking after me. That makes me pack my bags at any opportunity and travel across continents. Yes, you have to have drive. You can't just pray on it, you have to act on it. You have to be motivated and have belief and drive to get you to where you want to be. You have to be able to visualize the better things in life. Visualize what you want to do for yourself, your family, and most importantly, visualize what you want to do for others. It's vital that you don't just create wealth for yourself. You create wealth for yourself so you can help others. And like I said earlier, Make sure you're bringing people up with you. Give people the opportunity to better themselves. It doesn't always have to be financial. It could be spiritual. It could just be advice. But as you climb that ladder of life and make better for yourself, make sure you're bringing up the people around you to make better for them as well, to make better for themselves. Life is a funny thing and a lot of people tend to like to climb the ladder by themselves and not give opportunities to others around them. That's not how I work my life. I'd rather give someone an opportunity around me 
and take that opportunity if I'm already comfortable and I think they need help. Think about that. <laughs>